YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to mod Minecraft. You can mod the world and generate structures. You can even edit the textures if you really want to. But to do this you're going to need Horizon and a Minecraft you'll need to install it. I'll have both links in the description. This isn't a hard thing to do but first what you're going to want to do is open up Horizon. We're going to get the Minecraft save file off of the USB with. Which first of all you're going to probably want to go on your Xbox and get your Minecraft game save. Then just go ahead and inject it into your computer. Just wait for it to load. There's my USB. So, and once you have Horizon opened up, just go to your device explorer over to the side but if you guys haven't already and you don't have this program you're probably going to want to sign up I already have an account so I'm signed in you can just simply go to the website it doesn't require much just a username and password email then next what you're going to want to do is go under games on your flash drive and go to minecraft and then simply just find your Minecraft game save. There's a lot of mine, I guess. Most of these aren't even mine, so you just double click the one that you want to mod. And next, what you're going to want to do is go to contents and then right click save game dot dat. You're going to want to extract that and extract it to your. Go ahead and extract it to your desktop. Don't rename it or anything. you're going to want to do is open up the second program that I'm in district. It's name is Op. I don't know how to pronounce that. So OP mod tool. Just call it that. Overpower, I guess. Wait for that to open up. Go ahead and click start and open save game dot dat. By the way, before we get started, I do not own Horizon or this mod tool. Old credit goes to whoever made this. I don't really care. I know if they're cool, that they, but hey, just give it a second to load. Can I? Oh, you need. Okay, yeah. So make sure you open the program as administrator. It would be an actually really great idea. So if you have limited restrictions on your laptop, it's probably going to be hard to run as an administrator if you don't know the admin password. So, so go ahead and start and open up your save game dot dat. Once you've opened it up, just let it load. And then from here, it shows you the people that have made it, so you can easily find, and yeah, and that's the person who made it. I'm going to pause this video, I don't want that playing. So you can edit your spawn point if you wanted to. You can make it so it hasn't been in creative, so you can still earn the achievements. Not only that, but you can generate your own structures. You can make it currently thundering, raining, adventure mode, game time. You can do whatever you want, really. You can have it so it never rains, or if you love the rain, like, I would so love to go out in the rain, but it kind of lags out my Xbox, so I don't usually have that on. So let's do that. And then I kind of like it to be sunrise. Beautiful sunset. And thunder time. Ooh, I love the thunder. Players, you can edit your players, by the way, like if they can fly or invisibility on survival. If you have host options on, I believe. Yeah, see, host privileges must be enabled in a game. You can edit the map. You can upload your own picture, like map one. This will come up. It's basic. And you can upload your own picture. It could be your face if you wanted to. 
you can edit your world. So like the layers, instead of it being random or just all dirt, you can actually fill up the whole world with TNT, then have the top layer dirt if you wanted to, or all obsidian. It just all depends on what you like. Oh, and you can find your, uh, you can add mob spawners, which is actually really good. And you, it doesn't have to be pig. If you have problems just having pig, you can find these other ones. Though this is compatible with the computer game save, so I suggest not doing one that we don't have, like cow. I believe that will probably freeze your Xbox, so I recommend you don't do that. And you'll probably crash your game save, so go ahead and save your game save. And then once it's done... Oh, yeah, and this dialogue's going to pop up. Then go ahead and save it back to your desktop. And one sec. Will can you? So, after it says your save game was successfully saved, this program must restart before continuing. Okay, go ahead and X out of it. Nobody, you won't need it anymore. I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, go ahead and X out of it. No, we don't need that. Now what you're going to want to do is right click this. Replace, kind of the obvious because that's what we edited. Now replace it with the save game that you just modded. And be sure, you can never forget to save, rehash, and resign any save game that you ever mod. This is like the most important thing that you can possibly forget. Like, this is what it all depends on. This is what decompresses and compresses the file so the Xbox is able to read it. So, once this gets done being blonde, I, I guess my computer's not used to be having this many programs open up at once. And I'm using a new type of software rec recording. So, okay, file replace successfully. Go ahead, go back to package info. Make sure it's all the same, pretty much same profile, same device, say same console, basic. Oh yeah, if you guys want to message me or something, my name's KCR22 on the Xbox. So go ahead and shoot me a message. Though if you do send me a friend request, I will probably deny it unless you really want to be my friend and you have mods, then I'll probably add you. You must have ISO or JTAG though. I do ISO mod by the way. I won't JTAG my Xbox because that is just too much work. I don't want to damage my motherboard inside of my Xbox. I'd rather take precaution. Though I'm totally comfortable with doing ISO. If you guys would like a tutorial, just comment in the description. I do read my messages and comments and I will respond. Then once you're done with this, go ahead and X out of it. You must X out of it. And then eject your device. This is very important because if you just yank out that device, it, you do have a big chance of corrupting all your data on your USB. You could lose all of your game saves. And that's just a nightmare. Like, I remember when my Xbox had the Red Rings of Death and... I lost all my game saves because they were on my system. When I turned it into Microsoft, it was terrible. Yeah, so. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's being stupid. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. So I right click, and it's going to be slow. you guys have any game suggestions or like DLC that you know like that you can get for free online like somebody sharing a cracked DLC or map pack share it with us share it with the youtubers get it out there file share it like who doesn't like some free DLC I know I get most of my DLC for free even some of my Xbox games it's really good Torrents are a great way to find free DLC. Okay, see, eject USB. And then wait for it to say safe. Okay. And then once you see that, you can go ahead and eject the USB. But yeah, just like, 
the video if I explain this well. Subscribe. If you have any questions, definitely comment or send me a message. Because I have no problem helping you guys out. Yeah. So I hope you liked it. Because I have no problem helping you guys out. Yeah. So I hope you liked it.